So this um, video is just going to give a very short um, discussion or short note on that users should consider that for HPC clusters that login nodes and the clusters and the compute nodes themselves are a shared resource. So these are not your desktop or laptop where you will be the only person who is currently using it. There will be many other people who are currently using the same computer or machine and you have to consider that any actions that you're doing on these shared machines might affect a lot of other people and not just yourself. Um, so for a high performance computer cluster, HPC, the users will usually log in or get to these through a kind of gateway, uh, what we call a login node. Sometimes there's just one, um, other clusters depending on how many users there are, we'll try to have more than one login node. And there's often a round robin um, going on that every time a user logs in, it's put onto to a different machine or a different login node, or depending on the load that users are shuffled between the different ones that are available. A lot of computer facilities will have two, in, two login nodes for the HPC facilities and that is should something happen to one of them there is it, there's at least another one that users can use to to get to the um, HPC cluster. So what do I mean about uh, th that it is a shared facility? So everyone has to log in to the login node to get to the cluster. Now most clusters have several hundred if not a s several thousand users. Not everyone might be logged in at the time but there can be quite a lot um, that might be logged into one of the login nodes for example. And So how would you know? So we can use uptime for example and so if I type uptime here it shows me the actual time at the moment. It's telling me this particular node has been up five days and it's telling me that currently there's 18 users logged into this particular one. Now on some other login nodes that number of users might be 40 or 50 or 100 or something like this. And so this is why on the majority of HPC clusters the people who run these facilities will be will not allow users to do calculations on the login nodes and that is by you typing something on the command line like R or Python, hitting enter and letting it run there. That's the last thing most of the system administrators will need because if your program doesn't behave itself or it's rather intensive in terms of memory or CPU usage, you will be affecting at least 17 other people that are currently trying to do something, to do calculations, to edit the text, to look at their output, to look at their jobs. And so running on the login nodes on the majority of HPC facilities is not allowed and will usually um, end up with consequences if users do that. Um, so some um, facilities will have monitoring in place to check on that. Others will limit what a single user is allowed to do. So resources are limited to a very, very small amount. And so some users might find they're trying to execute their program and then get killed or kicked off for an error happens because some resources aren't available or not enough is available and the reason for that is that resources available to users in the login node are severely restricted and that is basically to make running on a login node as uncomfortable and uh, as inefficient as possible so that users will usually run on the compute nodes which is what they're for 
the compute nodes are there to run a user's calculations and jobs. A login node is a gateway to the cluster so that users can then use the compute nodes to run their calculations. A login node is not there, it's not a server to run calculations. At the moment this looks fine, so these three numbers are showing the load of this login node and on a normal day and if all the users are behaving as they should, these loads will be as small as this is. If there are loads of one, two, three, four or higher, then most likely there's at least one user, if not two or more, who are doing something they're not supposed to do on the login node. If several users are trying to just quickly run something small or what they think they're small and if enough users are doing that and maybe one or two of these programs are misbehaving, the login node can be so overloaded that it will need to be rebooted which means that there's not just those users who did that but everyone else is inconvenienced, might have processes terminated due to that and things like this. So it's not very kind to your fellow researchers to run even just something quick or small on the login nodes. There are job submission ways to do that. Most computer facilities will offer an express queue or an interactive queue where you can actually have a login on a compute node to do all these quick or small calculations and that's a much more efficient and a much, much kinder way of doing these.